Uh, well, first of all, we knew Taco Fall was very challenging. Um, they have a great basketball team. Uh, uh, great probably is too strong a word, but a very good basketball team. They're very good. And um, Taco has an impact defensively that makes it very challenging for, for any opponent. And I thought they came out. Uh, they fought through the difficulties early and got the lead, established by seven. Then they went on, I think, a 13-0 run to start the second half. Well, we came out and uh, we couldn't hit the broad side of, a bo of the born. Uh, and that lead just got bigger and bigger. And against a team like that who had success against Nebraska and Alabama at their, at their place, you know you cannot make those minimal mistakes if you're going to have an opportunity to win the game. They're a big team. They're a big team and they're a physical team. Um, you know, when Taco, he started the game, you know, the second half, and they were ready to build that lead. They were ready to get some momentum. I, the thing that I encouraged our guys uh, at halftime was, you know, the first four minutes is crucial. And the first possession, we talked about getting a stop because they had a seven-point lead. And psychologically, when a team gets over 10, it does a little something to you. And so he, the first possession he gets, he gets fouled and one. They go up 10 points. Now you feel like you're climbing uphill. And uh, we could never just get over the hump, and we couldn't make enough basket. In games like this, you got to make enough basket to win the game. This is year two for them under Dawkins. Where do you feel like the biggest stride is coming? Obviously, they finished last year. Taco Falls. The whole team, obviously, they finished last year really well. Taco Falls. <laughs> it's just him and he has an impact. I mean, no, no offense, and, and Coach Dawkins has done a terrific job. But now Taco, let's not kid ourselves. Taco Fall is 7'6". He has a huge impact offensively and defense. He changes everybody's game plan. Every school that he plays, their game plan has to change because he's so big and so massive and he changes so many shots. So uh, I, if you got a Taco Falls for us, I can show you that I've become a really, really, very good coach at some point in time. I promise you that. It's got to be a relief to only see that once every year, right? Let me tell you what I told our guys. And, you know, you never want to lose a ball game. Certainly don't want to lose a ball game. Uh, but here's the, here's the bad news. Bad news, we lost the game. The good news, we have faced no one like that in our league. No one moving forward. And so uh, we got to learn from these mistakes. We got to get better. Uh, but uh, I'm certainly glad to – I'd be certainly glad to see Taco Fall leave. Um, <clears throat> well, you know, just going against a team like that, you know, that's in the high major conference. Um, you know, we get up every year and we want to win those games because we know that we want to prove to the world that, you know, we're just not just, you know, like a low major or mid major team or anything like that. Anytime that we have a big opportunity to play a big team, a big school that's in a big conference, we always want to show, you know, our fans that we can compete with them too. That they're no better than us. And like I said, just throughout this game, um, you know, Taco Fall, he changed a lot of shots, you know, and then he um, made us do a different game plan. But, I mean, we, we, went, we didn't play bad. I believe that we fought, you know, the whole entire game. And uh, we gave the effort that we, you know, that we supposed to give. And, you know, just going against him, you know, it's just tough. We just have to adjust and just it all boils down to just making shots. You play USF here, you play UCF here. How would you describe the environment on those two nights as compared to any other night during this evening? season even during conference play? Um, you know, them big time schools, like I said before, playing big time schools, you know, fans gonna come out, many more people gonna come out. So we just have to make sure we just come and be ready to play each and every night, night in, night out. Coach, we're nearing the beginning of the new year. Uh, this played 14 games. 14 games, yes. So 14 games in the season, where do you feel like trend wise, you guys have, have improved? Where do, you, where, do you, where do you like about your team? Where do you feel like well, when we left IPFW, I felt pretty good about you know what we did. We had a chance to win that game. We were uh, we ended up losing by four, but the game was a lot closer than that. We actually um, uh, was one stop away, perhaps, from winning that basketball game at the very end. So I feel really good about that. Now this game hurts you a little bit just because you 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 got that momentum and you feel good about what you did at IPFW. You play a team like this that's. 
hey, we knew it was going to be tough and that we had to play uh, a very good basketball game and we had to hit a lot of shots. And their length, their size, that stuff all is very impactful because they can get to shots and – and, uh, you know, Devine used to get to the basket on everybody. And he still was able to get to the basket. But when Taco's down there, all he got to do is swipe a little bit. It just changed the game. You got to throw it up a little higher. You got to shoot a little bit different. And, uh, but overall, I like the direction we're headed in. Uh, I didn't particularly like this game. But I like what we are showing. And those young guys, they continue to get minutes and step up. Uh, I'm excited about the opportunity we have in conference play. <laughs> but when you play a team, say, like a Gulf Coast, it has the kind of length and size and strength at, at the guard spots. How do you feel like this kind of game helps you when, when you get into the league? Oh, it helps us tremendously because still they don't have Taco Falls down there. Now, remember, uh, their, their post guys are not shot blockers, like the type of shot blocker that Taco is. And, and their guards are good, uh, but, you know, I think our guards are, are, are equally as good as well. So we can do some things to get in the paint, cause some havoc on, on the offensive end that they can't do what UCF does. And uh, uh, they're a good basketball team, but, you know, I'll take my chance with the Florida Gulf Coast. You know, I got to do a better job of, 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 of substitution. And, and what I mean by that is, you know, uh, uh, those freshmen get out there, and I'm telling you, and they have a, a brain freeze. And so we got to just get them where they can relax and breathe and uh, uh, remember the play. They can do it in practice with game time. It's like they get sometimes get paralyzed. So I got to do a better job of just making sure they know what, know what we're doing. But as our freshmen get better, we'll get better as a team. And uh, – we certainly, uh, we certainly have a good opportunity to, to have some success. So how do you do that? 